Hello, I'm Sufi and I'm 17 years old and I live on the Kiva Road in Belfast and I attend Holy Family Youth Club. I am from the Catholic community which makes me and Abby different in the Veda. Hi, I'm Abby, I'm 16 years old and I come from Shore Road which is a small Protestant area in Belfast. I attend my Conyer Youth Club and I live on the opposite side of the Peace Wall from Sufi. I'm an only child and live with my mummy and daddy. I have three dogs, which are a King Charles called Rudy, Yorkie called Alfie, and a French bulldog called Coda. You can already tell that I like animals better than humans. I live in a single parent home with my mummy Laura, younger brother Ashton, and newborn sister Annie. My baby sister is four months old, are gone to so special and important to me. This makes it harder for me being here because I don't get to see her for what is two very long weeks. I currently go to Trinity College on the Andrew Road. I'm sixth year and currently studying childcare this year. And I'm doing placement in Cedar Lodge, which is working with kids who have disabilities. And I feel better about myself as I'm helping children who, have, who genuinely need my help. I hope to stay on next year in school and do another two years studying A-levels and work hard for my future. I go to an all guards Protestant <coughs> school, which is called Belfast Model School for Guards. I'm in my last year of school, but my second year of GCSEs. SATs are similar to GCSEs, as we discovered when we visited this school during the week. In the future, I hope to get back into school to study childcare, so I can hopefully become a teacher. My plans for the future are to do well at school and achieve the things I need to do or hope to be as a nurse, midwife, or work with kids who have disabilities. I also like art and would like to be and would be interested in doing something with that in my spare time. I also need to work hard and achieve goals such as being able to drive, own my own home and travel the world. I wish one day to have a family of my own and also to provide good things in life for them, such as stability. And I hope that then they can grow up in a comfortable living area where there is no longer conflict. I want to be able to be helpful in the future by helping people in need, for example, homeless, homeless people and people who need someone to talk to. I hope to be able to work hard and look back and say that I achieved these things myself. What I mainly want for my future is to make my mommy and daddy, family and friends proud by my actions and my active role in my community. <coughs> now I'm going to talk about what it is like for a young person to live in a divided society. Living in a divided society stops my freedom, my education, my health and my future opportunities. But personally I don't have a problem with Catholics and I wish there was no division between the two communities. I feel Northern Ireland is a great place to live if only people would leave, <coughs> leave aside their differences and help build a better future for the next generation. Living in Northern Ireland has had its bad and its good ways as many people these days are not as sectarian as many years ago. Years ago there was rats, fights and protests. Although people today are not a sectarian, but there are some places I wouldn't like to go or enter or can't go as it would be dangerous because I'm Catholic and I wouldn't feel comfortable entering a Protestant area in my uniform as it identifies me. I feel this would make me a target or make me vulnerable. I would like to make my community a better place by making more cross-community projects like Friends Forever. I would also like to see more integrated schools in Northern Ireland as I think it would help the difference, the different cultures in our country come together and understand <coughs> each other. To make my community a better place to live, I would recommend to take down the peace walls so that we aren't debated by using our powers as young people and a positive influence to show other people in our community that we no longer want to be debated, we want to be equal. Friends Forever is helping our communities because I feel that without programs like this, I would not have the opportunity to make people, the opportunity to make the young people in this group and make lifelong friends. It is also helping to change my attitudes towards other religions. Friends Forever is a fantastic pro project and I would truly recommend it to anyone. It just shows how widespread this program is <coughs> as I met a stranger in the supermarket on my second day here. This man recognised my accent, started up a conversation and it turned out he was a former board member of Friends Forever. He went on to tell me he had friends back in Northern Ireland. 
Being chosen for an amazing opportunity to be a part of Friends River was an unbelievable feeling. Unlike Abby, I got I only got given the opportunity a few months ago. It was scary to know that I was going to be a part of a group that I didn't even know. Although I knew my youth leader Kayleigh very well and my close friends Killian and Orn. Friends River is helping our community by bringing together young people from two divided areas, breaking down barriers and developing friendships with other young people that we would never have had a chance to meet if it hadn't been for this programme. Now that me and Abby have gotten to know each other more, we now know that we're not different. We are just, we are just the same and our friendships have developed very good and we hope it will for the future. Thank you for this opportunity to tell you about ourselves.